Hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video I will quickly demonstrate how you can use WMS services in Civil 3D and in InfraWorks 360. Actually, I'm concentrating more on InfraWorks 360 side because in Civil 3D I believe that most of you can connect successfully to WMS services. And just as a quick reminder, you use a task pane and you connect data and you then include whatever layers you find from that service. For example, in my case, I have a auto photo and this auto photo name is given also in here. So it's an um, Estonian service right now I'm using. And if I right click, I can see also other parameters like edit connection and I simply pick a definition and I can see my web address to where I connect. Now it's important uh, to note those parameters, values, because we need to use those also in InfraWorks 360. But in InfraWorks 360 it's not so, let's say, user-friendly, meaning that we can't use dialogues, but we have to define XML file that includes all valid information, including this web address and also different layer names that we want to bring in. But once you do that definition file, you find it quite easy later on to modify it. So I close my Civil 3D additional palettes and I show you now this XML file that you need to define. I have pre-made it and in here I can see it quite compact way. So first of all, I need to define GDAL WMS, also service name, version 1.1.1. So depending on to which service you want to connect, just check your version. That's why I showed you also Civil 3D. It's easier to pick those values. If it works there, you should be able to, to make that definition file also for InfraWorks 360. Then web address, also coordinate mapping, also image format, JPEG or PNG should both work. And then we see a layer name. So in here I include the same layer name I actually see in here in Civil 3D. Now data window is quite important because when you connect to data source you need to define what area you are interested in and in real coordinates you need to basically define a rectangular area. You have a left x and left y and you have right x and right y. To find out those values you can also draw a rectangular in Civil 3D for example a polyline and then you can use for example, id command to pick those corner values, x and y. I think that it's quite the easiest way to find the same area. But of course, if you have your InfraWorks 360 model, if I open it up, I can also see my model area or coordinate values when I click on model properties. So in here I can see also those x and y's. And I can use those also in the same XML file definition. I cancel it out. Once you have defined that XML file, you can now connect to that file and this will bring in from that service whatever layers you have defined or asking for. In InfraWorks 360, you go to data sources and then you connect to raster source. So I click raster and then I pick a WMS XML file. I click open. Of course, with any data source you include in InfraWorks 360, you basically need to configure it. So double click on this XML file and then you can just close and refresh because all information is already as needed. So close and refresh and just in a moment you should see an aerial image on top of your surface or terrain. But of course you can also see that um, this image is with quite low resolution. Actually when we talk about this XML file again you see that I have defined size X and size Y. Size X is 1000 pixels and size Y I need to actually calculate because depending on my rectangular area I can easily calculate using for example Excel what will be the Y value when X is 1000. I can use for example Excel for that so if I include the same values here upper left x and y and lower right x and y I can calculate delta x and delta y and then I can find my y value. So you can have it 
just in the simple form and in other projects you can redefine those xy's and also recalculate depending on the size x you want to achieve. And the same is true if you want to change your resolution. For example, if I want to see better picture quality, for example, I include x now 10,000 and then my y is 5735. So once I recalculate, I can then easily change my values here. Size x is now 10,000 and size y is 5735. Yes. So I save my file again and minimize my Excel and uh, Notepad. Because I haven't changed my file location, I can right click on my XML source and then just refresh. Because my file is now with higher resolution, it takes some more time to bring it in. But just in a couple of seconds or so, it should be downloaded and you can see the difference beforehand you were not able to tell if it's a parking lot or not and you are not able to see those cars or how many cars you may have but once you include a high resolution image you can see the difference also in here so in overall it's quite an easy task to include data from wms services you need to define that xml file and later on you can easily change it depending on what information you want to bring in. So happy testing!